Hi everybody, Matt Oliver for the Wacopa Daily Show and day two of the 16th annual World Championships of Performing Arts being held at the Westin Bonaventure Hotel in Hollywood, California, the entertainment capital of the world. And it was day two and that meant boot camp, an opportunity for all the contestants to mix, mingle and learn from some of the movers and shakers in the industry. Lauren Barnett has more. We just finished the dance boot camp here at World Championships and we have found quite the little dancer. Nicholas, tell us where you're from. Malaysia. And tell us how old you are. 11 years old. And Nicholas has quite the moves. Nicholas, can you show us one of your best dance moves? Woo! We are here at the singing boot camp. You all just got a little intermission. Tell us your name and where you're from. Hi, I'm uh, Penny Salcedo and the only entry and very first time from Hong Kong. We are so honored to have you and your country here. Tell us how your experience has been so far. Oh, wow. Um, I mean, uh, back home I'm actually a, a professional singer, but I've never encountered anything like this, as exciting as this. Everything has everything been going so great. And I know you just heard from the infamous Seth Riggs, who has been a vocal coach to Michael Jackson and so many other greats. What, what was his best advice to you? Honestly, I cannot express it by words. We have just snuck you out of the acting boot camp. Tell us your name and where you're from. Hi, my name's Shakura Chapman, but all my mates call me Shaq. And I'm from New Zealand. All right, Shaq. I want to stick with Shaq because I like that. Um, tell us what you just learned in the boot camp. It was more hands-on, which is what I kind of really, I really dig that. And um, we were just doing commercials, and so we had to get up and kind of got put on the spot, as it were. And now you have a whole week here left at World Championships. What are you looking most forward to? Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm really enjoying the boot camp experience, but I'm really keen to get into it. I'm doing acting, modelling, and I play the drums. We have one of our male models here. Tell us what your name is. Linus Grud. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And tell us where you're from. <laughs> I'm from Sweden. You're from Sweden. And what made you want to come to World Championships? Uh, I got uh, the last year's winner uh, of the models. She, he tipped me uh, about this. Well, we're happy to have you here, and I know you just watched a seminar with Renee Horsch. Tell me what you got from the seminar. I learned a lot uh, about how to work with the business and everything, uh, how to act, and you know, I I haven't really thought about how much behind the scenes it is. So it was very good. Absolutely invaluable information. It looked like the contestants were all having a fantastic time. That event actually ran 12 hours, if you can believe it. So. Good stuff there, and of course, none of that would be possible without the scouts, the talent agents, the experts in their field that came, gave up their time to teach and impart some of the wisdom to all of our contestants. Lauren? We're here with Renee Horsch, who is a fashion stylist for Marcus Anino. He has been helping our contestants with a boot camp all day long, and we're so anxious to get your feedback and find out what you think of our contestants so far. Oh my God, the, the contestants today are fantastic. We've got, I think there's like four or six or eight, I can't remember how many, but there's this whole group from Sweden that's amazing. And uh, there's a lot of talented people here. And um, Darian Arnold, who is teaching all these amazing guys and girls how to walk, she's doing a fantastic job. Um, I think there's all kinds of, again, like last year and the year before, there's so much talent at this event, it's, it's, it's staggering, it's great. And now speaking of talent, you're quite the talent yourself, which is why you've been a stylist for Mark Zanino for over 10 plus years. Can you tell us what is your biggest fashion secret when getting ready for the red carpet? Mm, that's a good one. Okay, is that for male or for female? Well, since I'm curious, female. <laughs> <laughs> so for female, I would say, God, the best like the best kept beauty secret? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Well, Nancy O'Dell from Axis Hollywood and Entertainment Tonight, she taught me all about the skinny pose. Do you know what the skinny Ooh, pose is? Teach me the skinny pose. Okay, so, the skinny pose is once you're all dressed and looking good, she always said, you know, stand with one leg in front of the other. Like this. Ooh. And then you're going to have your skinny pose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, another, another great beauty thing, I think, in what you've already done, you've achieved today, is with the nude shoe. And she's wearing, you are wearing the nude shoe. I am wearing the nude shoe. And the nude toenail polish as well. The nude toenail polish. This I is am. a very sophisticated, yes. very good look because it doesn't break the line. It keeps, it keeps the leg. The flow of symmetry. The flow of symmetry, <laughs> yes. I would say that. That's a very, <laughs> that's a good beauty secret, right? So if this yeah. job fails, you, you need me as backup? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think you're going to fail, though. This girl rocks. She's amazing. <laughs> 
gosh, you are probably the most brilliant man I've ever interviewed. Oh, and right? <laughs> IQ is like going off the charts, man. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We're so happy to have you here. And I know the contestants are so lucky and so blessed just to be in your presence. Oh, okay. I, I'm honored that I'm a part of this. And Griff O'Neill is fantastic. And this is a really great, um, fun event and a great opportunity. And I'm, I'm really proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. We are here with Darian Arnold, Yay. a top model. She's infamous for being on the covers of magazines, modeling runways all over the world. We love you. Darian, uh, we love you. After my just spiel there, I'm a little bit sweaty, so excuse me. What do you want to ask me? She, has that, she has that dewy look I've got that going dewy, today. Dewy, whatever look. The, the, <laughs> I slept two hours last night look. Okay. Uh, well, we hope we can all achieve that look. Um, so, Darian, what advice would you give our contestants who are here competing for world championships? Enjoy. Enjoy yourself listen to what everybody is saying and just don't go for the classes that you're here to participate in some people think okay I'm just gonna do runway or I'm just going to do acting sit in on these other things because you have a way of the road will lead you to a different uh, thing that you actually really want to do some people go into acting some people go into makeup all kinds of things very nice, and I know you've been teaching our contestants all day long. You've, I've heard so many wonderful tips that even for myself, just how to walk downstairs the right way um, was very, yes, it was so beneficial. And so um, I know people at home are dying to know, what is your best kept beauty secret? Water. Take your body weight, divide it in half, and make it ounces, and drink that much a day. And then add an ounce of water for every cup of coffee, and an ounce of water for every alcohol drink you have. It's a hydrate. Don't look at me now because I'm so dehydrated. Okay. <laughs> Today is not the day to be given that advice. But um, you, will, you will notice a difference in your skin, your hair, also headaches, and your energy level. And don't go so much for those really expensive products. There's so many great things at CVS and Rite Aid now that are amazing. And I know, like I said earlier, you've modeled all over the world. You've graced runways everywhere imaginable. I have. Tell <laughs> yes, she has. Tell <laughs> us what is your most memorable moment uh, on the runway. I think um, I did a Marilyn Monroe dance one time, and I ad libbed it, and it turned out to be on the front page of the Paris uh, newspaper the next day. But one of the best things that I liked, we did a uh, fashion show on Chanel's Chanel's Elysees. Did I say it wrong? Oh God, you know I'm ripping that language to shreds, <laughs> but. The Eiffel Tower was in the background, and when I turned around on the stage and walked back and I saw that, I thought, oh, wow. I kind of made it a little bit. <laughs> it seems kind of, it was nice. It was a very nice feeling. But I just think being in Paris is so glamorous. I'm sorry. It really was. And you are the epitome of glamour. We are so thankful to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye, everyone. Good luck. See you all week long. Hi, we are here with Christina Eglins, a former world champion from Russia back in 1998. Welcome back, Christina. Thank you so much. I'm very glad to be here. I'm very glad to be uh, this famous competition. And I would like to say uh, thank you so much for uh, Griff O'Neill. Thank you very much, Lauren Barnett. And that puts a cap on day Two. Day three means opening ceremonies, the fantastic Parade of Nations. Make sure you tune in to the WCOPA Daily Show tomorrow. We'll have highlights from all that. For the Wacopa Daily Show, I'm Matt Oliver.